Hi, this is Ronnie, and this one is actually a mini kit Monday layout. Yeah, I did it back in June, so it is for June, and um, I didn't remember to do the uh, video with the mini kit. I just started doing the layout. So, since I didn't do it, I never did go ahead and upload the videos for the the layouts. And, but I'm going to be doing these two pictures here. They're my granddaughters. And we were at a birthday party. And the birthday party was actually outside. But um, when we started cleaning up and taking things in the house and everything, the girls just disappeared. I wasn't really worried because it was a fenced-in yard, so I didn't think they were going to go very far. But uh, I looked outside first just in case they went back outside. There were, were adults outside though. And then I went to look in the house and found them in the bedroom with all these toys and they had drug everything out. I was in there earlier, nothing was drug out. So yeah, they drug it all out and I was asking why they had to get everything and they were telling me, we love this stuff. Yeah, so the title of this is gonna be Loving All the Stuff. And, um, yes, we love all these things. It was kind of a long title. Uh, see, oh, I'm gutting the photo mats here. And I'm going to go ahead and mount them on there. And I gutted it pretty narrow, didn't I? <laughs> I was being pretty good. I was saving it, I was saving it really good. Uh, I'm using uh, the Art Institution glitter glue here and it gives you a little bit of wiggle room and I do need some on this because yeah I don't have a very big border there and the collection I'm using is Alice and Kreft um, and but I'm going to use uh, right there instead of just regular cardstock, I use the color box and I use the um, ombre looking one where it's, a, gets, it's lighter and then gets darker. But yeah, I'm going to use that. And, well, as it's not going to be the background, I'm going to use it as one of the layers. So I'm going to be cutting it down. That blue that you see in the back, actually, that's what I'm going to use as the background. And I cut the lighter part off because I wanted the more color on my layout. And I'm, oh, I was trying to see on the branding strip there, it's Capture Life. Because I was trying to remember what it was. But uh, the kit was based on this. I did add some few things in the color box cardstock and some other things with it but mostly it's that it was one of those mini kit ones so it didn't have a whole lot to it and I love that arrow paper but I love the other side too so I'm going to end up showing more of the other side than this side I'm trying to decide there how I want to put it and what I want to layer with it and if I want more papers or what and a I'm looking at that and both sides and trying to decide. I want to stretch as, this as much as I could because it's not a very big kit uh, collection, whatever. And that's why I'm using that color box on it. So it'd go a little bit farther to add something more solid with it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end up cutting another strip. Uh, to go with this because I decided I wanted two banners behind the pictures and uh, yeah hopefully I remember it for I glue this down yes I do yeah see it on the other side pretty too yeah I liked both sides that's where I was thinking about uh, which side I wanted and then I thought well I really like the arrows too so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some from the other side so I'll have some of the arrows showing but I didn't cut it as big since I already cut that piece I cut a smaller piece 
So I can save on the arrows so I can use them on another page. But yeah, they're really this whole collection is cute. But Allison Crafts designs usually are. And that's how it's going to end up being. I'm going to have the wider banner on the bottom and then the arrows. And you're not going to get to see much of either one. I should have cut behind the pictures and saved some. But I guess I wasn't even thinking that day. I just went ahead and uh, put it just right behind the pictures and didn't got nothing, save nothing or anything. And the pictures are going to be covering quite a bit of it. And I do already have the adhesive on the back of them, so yeah, all I'm going to have to do is put them on there. Sometime. Maybe soon. Yeah, there it is. And then, of course, I'm using the T-square ruler to keep it straight. And one girl's facing one way and one girl's facing the other. And I like to have them facing in towards the layout like Reagan is there. And I didn't want to have uh, Charlie over on the other side. And I was really wanting to use the banners going down. And I thought, well, she's facing almost straight. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. And put her down on the bottom. I'm looking at the labels, uh, the I mean the labels, the stickers to see what I can use on there. And I'm going to end up taking a little frame off. And uh, I started to just go ahead and put it down. And then I thought, well, I'm going to back it because I'm going to use it for uh, kind of like a subtitle. Uh, I'm going to back it in that card stock. And yeah, it's a full sheet because yeah, I made this mini kit and I'm trying to stick to the mini kit, so I had to cut out of it. But yeah, it's um, a good sh size sheet. But I put it in there because I thought it'd go with this collection. And I'm gonna make a subtitle. It's gonna be found together, two sisters. And when I was looking at the Tim Holtz um, stickers, I knew I had seen two on there. But when I was fixing this little um, frame here and putting it on there, I could not find that too for anything. I end up cutting most of this out because I do spend, and of course it's out of frame, yeah. It's been so long since I've done a video. This is the first one I've done in a very long time. I did not have it in frame at all. And so since I do spend a lot of time hunting for the two, I cut most of it out. And here are those uh, foam words on the side. They're from Freckled Fawn. And it has sister on there, but it don't have sisters. So I'm going to put the sisters on, sister on here, and then I'm going to take the S off the word sun and put on the end. And since it's the first letter of sun, it don't have a tail like you usually have at the end of a word. So I'm going to cut another little piece off and put a tail on there. And that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm actually in frame for that part. You can see that part. But it, so far it says found together sisters. But I will find the two before I'm done with the layout. Because I kept thinking, yeah, I know I seen it earlier when I was thinking about what I wanted to put on the layout. Oh, I'm thinking I'm needing a drink. Uh, this uh, little... Um, sticker says capture life and I'm going to cut it so that the F on life is going to hang over the picture and I thought at first I just kind of put it snugly on there but that didn't work so I'm going to have to trim it just a little bit more so it can catch under there a little bit better and the F can hang over but I'm going to fiddle with it for a minute but see one side's up higher than the other, and so I'm going to have to make them a little bit more even so that it'll sit on there the way I want it to sit on there. And I'm looking again at the stickers to try to find what's on there that I can use. And I believe I end up finding the label on there, a small label. 
and I use it for layering and I do cut it in half yeah there no this is a camera I'm not to the label yet yeah I fussy cut around the edge of the camera because I thought I had a little more white than I was wanting to use around the edge of it and I'm going to use these um, thickers they're really old thickers and I was wanting to use them is why I put them in the mini kit Monday so I could use up some of the letters and try to work through this one and as you can see I've got several A's left but I'm not gonna have an E so I'm gonna end up using the number three and turn it upside down for an E and then I'm not gonna have a T either so I'm gonna use the number one and turn it upside down so it's going to be loving all the stuff and I'm going to put an apostrophe on the end of the loving instead of putting a G on the end and I do have plenty of G's I just wanted to put loving all the stuff and then after I make the title I do find a sticker that's like an arrow and it says love all these things and I thought if I'd seen that beforehand I would have used that on the title uh, might as well use it anyway. So my title's going to be longer. It's loving all the stuff. And then, yes, we love all these things. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And this is the label I was talking about. I'm going to pull that. Well, no, it's not. First, I'm going to pull that um, fishtail banner there. And I'm going to put it up there with my other banners only it's going to be a lot smaller and it says today on it and there's the one I'm going to end up cutting in half I'm just going to use it as a layer not for anything else I'm going to end up putting a button on it that says XO because of course hugs and kisses for those girls and don't know what all oh, that I'm finding the button now yeah, it's freckled fawn also. I for a while I was getting a lot of freckled fawn. I really I really like freckled fawn and I was working overtime and thought might as well get something that I really like and yeah, well, I like it a lot. So, I have quite a few freckled fawn things and so I put them thought adding to the Alice and Crep kit, you know, the capture life. What would go with it and I thought Oh, I can use some freckle fawn and stuck it in there. And there's that little banner that, uh, well, it's an arrow that says love all these things. And I'm going to go ahead and back it with some of that paper that I used to back the photos with. Just to make it show up a little bit better because the background is like a blue color and then it's blue also. So it wasn't showing up very well. So I backed it with the paper that I mounted the photos with and I'm going to add some foam tape so it'll stand up a little bit higher and I thought about using those I put several alphas in the kit so I could have a variety of choices but that one was just a little too bright it didn't go with everything else so I changed my mind about it and there I found the two yeah I put the two on there and these are freckle fawn also they're a foam um, and, and it's like a faux leather finish and, and they're foam they're pretty soft and of course it's a puffy but it kind of feels like a faux leather and so I'm going to do the yes we out of that and since it does not have a comma in it I'm going to make a comma uh, out of the I'm thinking ampersand. I'm going to use part of it. It's out of frame and I can't remember, but I did use a part of something that I thought I might not be using. It might have been a number that I used it off of. I'm not sure. But I did cut a little something to put there for the comma. And there's where I'm putting it up on foam tape. I believe, no, maybe I'm cutting, uh, maybe I'm cutting the comma I don't know what I'm doing then oh I am putting that on foam tape yeah <laughs> I moved the Wii down a little bit after I get that there it seems to fit better and now I'm gonna do the comma 
and it looked like I picked a number to use to cut it. It looked like I left the amphor stand alone. Uh, I think I'm getting close to getting done. I think I'm going to add some enamel dots and that's about it. Um, yeah, enamel dots. And on that little uh, frame where it says found together two sisters I had some puffy stickers my granddaughter has got me one time for my birthday to go with my scrapbooking and I still had some of them so I put one of them on there since it was one of their layouts I knew they'd like to see it there and the camera was a sticker with a fussy cut out and put up on foam dots and then the enamel dots and I think that's it this is the end of my layout loving all the stuff and of course since I just recently did this I actually have a photo to put at the end and yeah um, I did was a little slow though doing the voiceover like two months maybe but that's a whole lot better in two years so yeah I'm getting better <laughs> But uh, I'd like to thank you all for joining me, sharing my love of scrapbooking. And if you leave a comment, I'll, I'd love to reply to your comment. If you like the videos, hit the thumbs up, please. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Have a happy scrappy week.